let's go ahead and throw out just kind of another uh, thing about our sponsor, Stocks and Commodities Magazine, Technical Analysis of Stocks and Commodities Magazine. I really appreciate um, that they... Um, uh, their support for the event. Uh, they've been awesome. Uh, really helped us pull off uh, really what I'm going to consider so far a really awesome event. Um, you're going to receive a free copy of that as long as you opted in to get one. <laughs> and then in addition to that, if you buy anything from any of the presenters today or set up a Metastock subscription or um, anything, you're going to get five months free of stocks and commodities. Um, if you spend $300 or more, you'll actually get a complimentary two-year subscription to Stocks and Commodities magazine. And that includes like all of the access to every article they've ever published. Um, uh, great magazine. If you don't subscribe to it, you need to. And uh, we'll go ahead and leave that there. Uh, we will talk just a little bit about Metastock. Uh, we obviously love Metastock. It's won 24 years in a row for the reader's choice of that magazine. Um, you can get a free trial online. I also want to let you know we have people that have come in to answer any questions you have about Metastock today. You can chat in online with them at 1-800 or uh, online at metastock.com. There's a little chat box. If you have uh, uh, questions or if you want to know what the offers are for Metastock, give us a call. We, uh, the phone number uh, for our reps are 1-800-882-3040. So um, give us a phone call if you need anything. I'll, I'll text that out later uh, as well into the message. And um, we have people that are now here ready to answer questions and help you get set up for the trial, the extended trial, talk to you about the products, answer questions you've got, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Moving on. Uh, wow, this is a lot of fun, isn't it? Um, our next presenter is another uh, person that we're scrambling to get some integrations into Metastock. His name's Guy Cohen, and he's uh, developed um, an indicator. Uh, I've been aware of Guy probably since we did the Big Trend Toolkit add-on. I mean, it's been that long. And um, somebody that I've been trying to convince uh, to, to kind of put uh, the OVI stuff into Metastock, we're working on it. I think we'll have his stuff available for Metastock. Um, as part of his normal service, I'm going to say Q1 of this year, um, and uh, it probably towards the end of Q1 is when I'm hoping we're done with it. Uh, Guy's great. Um, I'm very interested. I actually haven't heard Guy speak before, so I'm very interested to see what he's got to say, and um, it's some, definitely something uh, I'm excited about doing some really serious business with next year. So let's go ahead and bring you in, Guy. Hello everybody. Um, I'm actually um, I'm actually doing this from the UK. Someone's just asked if I'm if we're going to record this. I'm sure that it's going to be recorded on the Metastock end. I will record it on this end as well, just in case. So uh, that's good. Um, Jeff, when you're ready, I'll just get started, and I'll just assume that everyone can see exactly what I'm doing. So uh, we'll just fly we'll just a little. Little, we're uh, um, we're uh, we can hear you a really good guy, and I just sent you the um, registration email for GoTo, so you can register a second email. We should allow you to come in. Was again. that into that second? That was into that that different email address I just gave you. Yes. Uh, I sent to the one I had, but I can forward it off real quick. I don't see where no, you forward it to the one. If you look in your if you look in your oh, chat box here. Okay. There you go. If you look into that, if you look into your chat box um, in here. In this room, I sent you my other email address. Just in here, if you look to the organizers and panels, um, if you do that, that would be ideal. If not, do you see it here, Jeff? I'm working on it. Uh, there you go. I got it. Okay. Okay. I've okay. Got it. it just, it, it, I tell you why, it's very helpful because it means that I just don't go too far ahead. Otherwise, you could see me, uh, you could see me getting, getting quite enthused as well. So, but I know that everyone wants to begin, so what I'll do is I'll begin, and when I see that, I will try to um, interrupt things. But um, anyway, I think we better begin, because otherwise I'm going to be holding up everyone else. So a big hello to everybody. Hello. Um, give me a wave to say hello. And I just want to endorse lots of people very enthused here, seeing loads of waving. And I'd love to see that. Um, the title of this, uh, we particular presentation is three steps to make money like an insider and uh, by the way I've just got Jeff's uh, I have now just got Jeff's thing so let me just do this I may as well just do this while I have the chance uh, give me one second Jeff if you're here you can uh, entertain there you go and two, one. Right. 
Okay, sorry about that, guys. Jeff's email just got to me as I was just about to get going. Here we go. I am starting, and I can think I can see this. So give me another 10 seconds, and we will be beginning. And it will be worth it. That I can tell you. So uh, a little bit of patience there will be very much uh, appreciated. And thank you for your patience. I do appreciate that very much. Okay, here we go. There we go. We're, we're, we're live. And I have it on my other screen. So now I can make sure that I don't uh, go too far ahead. Okay, so we're going to start now for real. Welcome, everybody. The presentation uh, today is titled Three Steps to Making Money Like an Insider. And as Jeff said, uh, and we love his enthusiasm as well, is that we are next year going to be implanting my indicator, the OVI, which you'll be seeing today, into Metastock. And that is a, a a key thing for us, um, key thing for them, we hope, and it's it's a very exciting proposition. I'm going to tell you why during this presentation. So very much, a very big welcome. So the challenge that we're going to have today um, is that it's a challenge that all traders or all investors face. You want, and I want as well, because I'm we're we're one and the same, to make money safely with a low time requirement, um, with an opportunity to make windfall profits. And if possible, can we do this in 10, 15 minutes a day? Well, that's exactly what I will be showing you during this presentation. Now, there are three main steps to take to do this. First of all, you need to have some indicator that will identify insider or insider-like activity. That's crucial. Now, many people claim they can do it. Not many people can actually do it, and I'll show you the difference between what's a claim and what's reality. Secondly, a specific chart pattern for timing, for helping you to uh, evaluate, to, to keep down the risk as well, a key part of how you trade and also navigating your, your way through terrain. And then the third part is just to execute a simple trading plan. If it's not simple, you will either forget it or get confused, and that's no good either. So you have to have that simplicity. Now, in the few minutes, I'm going to just show you an uh, a quote that was made by an exchange. Now, the exchanges have been my clients um, over the years, and I'll tell you something that they said about the things that we specifically do. Now, specifically, what we are going to be looking at today is how to uniquely follow professional type or insider or informed activity by observing options data. You don't have to be an options trader, though, to be able to benefit from this. That's the beauty of it. If you want to, you can. The second piece is you've got to know when it's safest to trade with the trend and when not to trade with the trend. Too many systems out there say, oh, this is what you can trade all the time. But it's not the case. The market changes its personality. Just have a show of hands here. Who, who agrees with that? The market is constantly undulating. And there's a time to trade with the trend, and there's a time not to trade with the trend. So you've got to have, if you're going to have a complete trading system, a complete trading approach, you have to be able to embrace the two, and you have to also be able to know when to flip from one to the other. Very important. A uh, key thing missed by most people out there. And you must have a trading plan that will keep you safe while allowing you to ride your winners as well. There's, that's another thing. It's all very well taking nibbles out of the market, but what's going to make the difference is when you can ride on a big fat trend. Who agrees with that? Okay, when you ride on a big fat trend, it's going to put your batting averages up. It's so important that you have a trading plan that will allow you to do that safely. Now, the one thing I'm also going to be making a point of, and I'm making that point right now, is that the stock market will be the best payer for you out of any other financial instrument, not Forex, not commodities, not bonds. It's the stock market that will give you this specific way of uh, trading and these results. Because, and this is why the likes of William O'Neill and Warren Buffett stay in the stock market, because the stock market can help reveal uh, patterns that no other market can do, and I'm going to get into that in a little while. So just in case uh, you don't know who I am, and I don't expect you do, my name is Guy Cohen. I am a trader. I'm an author, um, and also I create trading systems as well. My trading journey began, well, pretty much almost 20 years ago. Um, I had a nasty illness, um, which I won't go into, but I wrote a book about it. But I had a very nasty illness, and it compelled me for a while to consider working from home. 
And w as I got well from that, I decided that uh, working from home or working as my own boss was probably the way to go anyway. So I took my financial qualifications in the city of London, it's like the Wall Street exams, and I followed it up with a finance MBA as well, it's like a finance master's. And there I specialized in options, and I decided that not only would I trade options, but I would also develop my own systems and options, and I became very successful as a trader. But I realized that to be truly successful with trading, you must systematize what you do. You have to be able to do it. So I built systems. These systems got noticed by exchanges. So I did work with Euronext Life. They got taken over by New York Stock Exchange. I also done work for the International Securities Exchange on the options side as well. Um, in addition to that, I wrote books which became bestsellers, and so I became reasonably well known. And as I did all that, I also began to professionalize everything I do, because what we're heading on to is heading on to creating a fund. So what I have here is something that will give you an edge. It is simple and it is quick, because I don't know about you, but I don't want to be staring at my screens all day every day. That's not the kind of investor that I am. Okay, I have other things I like to do. But what I am going to show you is something that I call the ultimate trading method. And I have a very significant body of work um, in this and a, and a very significant body of clients as well. So they include exchanges, they include brokers. I have best-selling books on options and on stocks as well. And I've also got integrated systems that help you find the things that we're looking to find and also help you trade them as well. So it's... Uh, it's a big piece of work that's been going on over the last 15 to 20 years, and you're going to get the benefit of that right now, and uh, you're in good hands for the next 45 minutes or so. And what it's also going to show you is that you can make money anywhere you go in this, whether it's on a, on a laptop or whether it's on a tablet these days. What I have is an ability to make money but not be tied to my screens, and that suits me just fine. Now, earlier on, I told you, that uh, one of the exchanges uh, that I've worked with in the past um, were talking about the ways that I do things. We were analyzing some data for them, and they could not publish the results of what I had shown them. This was an internal audit only. And this is what they said. They're allowing me to say this, but this is what they said. They said, as an exchange, we can provide data. Because I was asking them, well, why don't you use what I'm doing for you to you know to get more customers and to help your customers and they said well as an exchange we can provide data but we cannot be seen to encourage insider trading but there is nothing to stop independent parties i.e. me following what could be insider trading which of course is why the data is so valuable so basically what happens is the exchanges produce the data but someone like me creates algorithms to be able to glean information from that data and this is what I've been doing now it's not easy to do what I've done it requires enormous amounts of algorithms and, and processing power and things that are out of reach to most people but the results of what I do are available and I'm going to show you all about them today now what I can do with that kind of data is I consistently produce commentaries that are just for whatever reason uncannily accurate and that includes you know if we just go back it just just over one year, but we can go back many years, but 24th of June, a bullish reversal. Um, I'll show you these in a chart in just a second. 9th of October last year, another bullish reversal, another bullish uh, move on in November. Now, this was important. This is at a time where very, who remembers this around November last year, just about a year ago, who remembers so many commentators on television, on CNBC, on their newsletters, on their blogs, all predicting a crash about this time last year. I was one of the only people, if not the only person, saying there is not going to be a crash at this point in time, and I'll show you why. That was as we go on. 5th of February this year, another bullish reversal on 14th of April. Again, 22nd of May this year. This is all published. This is all out there. This is not being wise after the event. A bullish continuation. 28th of July, during that nasty little retrace we had, I warned, but I said, look, there's not going to be a crash at this point in time. On the 8th of August, we had a bullish reversal situation. From the 4th to the 6th of September, I warned of bearishness. This was a time to get out of the market, confirmed by one of my automated signals on the 12th of September. Then that nasty second retracement happened, and then on the 15th of October, I called for another bullish reversal, and on the 4th of November, just recently, I, caused, I called for a small pause 
before some more bullish continuations. Every single time we've nailed this, every single time students who are with me nail this as well. Let me just show you to a, in a chart here. If you look at my little hand here where my mouse is, you can see this. This is the 24th of June, 2013. We nailed it. 9th of October, 2013. We nailed it. We nailed this continuation here on the 8th of November in the face of everyone else going the other way. Um, so we go, that's my hand here. There's my hand there. So that's the 8th of November. We nailed that. We nailed the 5th of February. Let's just let your chart catch up there. 5th of February, where my hand is. We nailed that. We nailed the 14th of April. We nailed the continuation on the 22nd of May. We nailed the start of a, a bit of a bearish situation on the 28th of May, but quickly changed on the 8th of August as well. Nailed that one nice and solid. And then in the last couple of months, we've got a few more. We nailed the beginning of September as the end of that particular bull run. And we also said about the 15th of October being the start of another situation from the bullish side with some more continuation on the 4th of November. We've nailed all of this. And I'm going to show you how we do that um, in the next little while. So the challenge is you want to make more money safely with low time requirement, with an opportunity for a windfall, and you don't want it to take too long. So where can you achieve all this? Well, you achieve it in the stock market because it's only in the stock market where you can actually begin to try to follow insider or informed kind of activity. It's only the stock market. You cannot do that in Forex, in commodities, in bonds, in other situations. You can only do that in the stock market. And it's also worth noting that the stock market has created more fortunes than any other financial instrument and is a common denominator that anyone can get into. So no matter what your background, you can understand stocks easily, more easily than any other financial instrument. This is why people like Warren Buffett focus on the stock market because he's got an edge in it. He can create an edge in it. He just can't do it in other places, not consistently. Um, and we use, for this, we use a traditional, a particular traditional chart pattern, not lots of them, but just a, a couple is all we need. And again, as I said it over and over again, a simple trading plan that you can execute. It's a slick a little business plan, if you like. And that's what we do. Um, that's nice. I get this little software update, which I don't want. <laughs> that's, the, that's the beauty of a live presentation. I'm sure we'll get some more messages popping up in a minute. So three steps to making money like an insider. Step one, when we're trading with a trend, step one is following the insiders using an indicator. Which indicator do we use? We use my OVI indicator. I'll tell you about that right now. Now, before we go on, here's what we know for sure. And the reason why we know it is because we know it through academic studies and we also know it through empirical testing uh, to institutional standards. This is a fact. So you can see this and accept it as an absolute fact. And that is that options data does reveal informed trader activity. It just does. Okay, This is proven. It is beyond doubt. This comes after years of research and it's validated by independent hedge fund analysts and academic studies. So this is something that you can gain an awful lot of confidence from. Why do we want to follow informed trading activity or professional traders? Well, here's the thing. When informed or professional traders see great value in a stock or see something, an opportunity, what they want to do is they will want to keep their trades discreet. Well, why do they want to do that? Well, it's so that they can accumulate um, whatever stock it is, whatever, whatever investment it is, without affecting the price. So they can accumulate as much as they can, as quickly as they can. And how do they do that? Well, they do it with leverage when possible so they can get as much as they can, as soon as they can, again, without affecting the underlying price. So where can they do that? Well, they achieve that in the equity options market. And what the OBI does is it enables us to follow them. So why is this important? Well, if we can identify position building by professional traders, and you just can't do it with volume alone. You cannot do it with volume alone um, with the stock. You have to look under the hood. So if we can identify that position building by professional traders, then we are then able to follow their direction and therefore replicate their superior odds of success. Now that is a huge situation. Just imagine how powerful that can be. So step one, 
follow the insiders in the options market using the OVI indicator. What is the OVI indicator? Well, the OVI indicator is a summary, if you like, of an option chain. What is in an option chain? Well, firstly is option volume. The option volume is the number of uh, contracts traded in a, on any given day. The second part is open interest. Open interest is the number of contracts that are still open, haven't been closed up or expired. And the third is implied volatility. Implied volatility is a representation of risk of pricing. Now, the higher options are, pricing, uh, are priced, then that's a measure of increased perceived risk. So those three mix together into a nice little cake that we call the OVI. Now, the thing about an options chain is it looks like a big grid like the matrix. And within the options chain, you've got all this information, which can, if you know where to look and know how to look, it can reveal the potential direction of professional traders, of insider traders, of informed traders. But the problem with an options chain is it's such a huge grid of numbers, you can only see so much of it from time to time. So um, that's the problem with an options chain. And that's the problem I was faced with when I looked at options chains every day. There's only so much I can look at from day to day. So I simplified it into one line. Now this was not easy to do, but I did it. And I simplified it into a line that made sure that when it was in negative territory, this represented bearish activity. And when it's in bullish territory, it represented bullet. It, it, when it was in positive territory, it represented bullish activity. Who thinks that that might be easier than watching an option chain? Just, put, just give me a wave if that seems a little more elegant than being able to just watching an options chain. Because also with this, I can create filters for it as well, once I've proven the hypothesis of it. So just by looking at this, this is a blanked out chart of Goldman Sachs a couple of years ago. It just proves, the, it just emphasizes the point. Focus on the blue squiggly line here. There's a blue line. This is my OVI line. Then there's a, there's a moving average next to it. But just focus on the blue line and just guess the direction of the trend of the stock. So in the first half of the chart, the OVI is mainly negative. Would you agree with that? Just give me a wave if you agree with that. Just mainly negative in the first half of the chart. It's pretty easy to see. What would you correlate that to? Well, common sense would say you'd correlate that with being, you know, potentially a negative trend in the stock. And of course, that is exactly what you got. Now look carefully, because in the second half of the chart, it, the OVI turns positive. Just give me a wave if you see a clear difference between the OVI's characteristic in the second half of the chart. It's clear. It's very, very clear. And where would you expect the trend to be? Well, probably not negative, maybe more like positive. And of course, that's exactly what happens. So this is a representation that the OVI is typically in line with the trend. And this happens over and over and over again. Now let's just go back in time a bit. Where did this all begin? Well, I've been looking at option chains for years and since the middle of the 1990s, so almost 20 years now, and I would be looking at option chains. And then I had this brainwave to say, well, what if I could create this line? Because I was kind of picturing a line in my head anyway um, and you know, make, you know, just trying to remember where things were from day to day. So I created it. And then in March 2008, we saw Bear Stearns. And Bear Stearns in March 2008 fell by 90%. But before it fell, we saw something that no one else could see. You see, this new indicator at the time, the OVI, didn't even have a name at that time, showed that the collapse was being traded by options traders two weeks in advance. So clearly, if they were trading it two weeks in advance, they were making a killing from it. And this was the first time we could see such a clear indication of either informed trading, of insider trading, or just darn smart trading. And we could see this. I'll show you this here. Here's the chart of Bear Stearns. As you can see, it's bumbling around from $70 to $90, nothing particularly. It was in a larger scale downtrend. But you can see this new indicator here, this new OBI, not only had gone down to its minimum reading of minus one, but it was slamming there and staying there as well. Now, at that same time, here's what people who watch CNBC we're hearing, and it's well worth just reminding ourselves of what they were saying at the time. Let me just play this for you. Bear Stearns is not in trouble. I mean, if anything, they're more likely to be taken over. Don't move your money from Bear. That's just being silly. Don't be silly. Bear money's back after the break.
Okay, so this is a guy who's been watched by millions of people, and that's the advice he's giving you right now as you see this stock. Now, he can't see, to be fair to him, what we can see. We can see with this chart that options traders are negative on this stock. This is the OVI. It's showing that options traders have turned bearish on Bear Stearns, and this is while the stock is still around $70. Well, let's have a look at what happened next. Well, we break through one level of support here at $76. We break through another level of support here at $70. The OVI has stayed negative all this time, and the stock then goes down from $80 down to $4, and this fella has a bit of egg on his face as well. So you can just see how wise. Now, do you think he would, ha he would have said what he said had he seen this? Would you, who, where would you have gone? Would you have gone with us, or would you have gone with him? If you could see what options traders were doing, which poor Jim Cramer couldn't see, you, of course, couldn't have said what he would as well, what he did say there and then. So I'm being a little unfair there. But here's the basic rule. When the OBI is persistently in positive territory, that is a bullish bias. When it's in persistently in negative territory, it's bearish bias. It's very simple. So just give me a wave if that's something that you can accept and understand here. So it's, bull it's persistent bullish behavior in the OBI, persistent positive, it's bullish, persistent, bearish. And you've seen that already. Now, the irony is it actually works better on the bullish side than the bearish side. Um, so let's have a look here. We're going to have sort of loads of setups here. Here's Apple, again, a couple of years ago. But this is a beautiful setup. It's exactly what I look for all the time. Look at this. This is persistent, bullish OBI. Who agrees there? Can you see that? Persistent, bullish OBI situation here. Just give me a wave if you can see that. And obviously, look at the correlation with the trend. Look at it. It's almost down from that bottom bit there. And then we're looking for setups. I'll get onto that in a little while. But with these setups, it works. The correlations work phenomenally well with many stocks. You just got to know which stocks work the best. And that's the situation which led to Apple going up 50% in just three months. And again, just look at this thing of beauty here. Just appreciate that. This is what's going on in the options world. Okay, This has got nothing to do with the stock. This is what's going on in the options world, and look what's going on with stock. Just wait, give me a wave if you can see that correlation plain as daylight. You'll see loads of these over and over and over again, and it's a thing of beauty. The other thing I want you to notice is look how clean my chart is. I've got not a mark on my chart. I'm looking at the options activity, and then I'm looking for a clear breakout situation. This is a thing of utter beauty. It's not complicated. Obviously, what goes into this line and how we've created it, there is complexity in there. But the reading of this, just give me a wave if you think, God, that actually looks quite easy. If I see something like this setting up and the stock's going sideways and moving towards a breakout, I could do this. And that's the beauty of it. So that's 50% in three months, which my group did. Okay, here's Goldman Sachs. It gave us two here. Look at Goldman's. This was again near the same time at that time there. Again, persistently positive OVI, a sideways move, and a breakout. And we've got it again near the end of the year. And even better, I'll show you this a bit later, all the financial stocks were doing something similar to this as well. Persistent positive OVI, persistent bullishness, bullish sentiment in the options traders, uh, options traders and here we have a setup just waiting to just give us some money. And here it was at the uh, end of December 2012, just a couple of years ago. And whoomp, up it goes for a clean 50% profit again in six months from the original breakout. But it gave us lots of other chances as well. Again, look at the correlation. It happens over and over and over again. Just over a year ago, we had Facebook do this right before an earnings report. Again, look at the correlation, uptrend persistently positive OVI, and again, it happens here. This is a $100,000 trade that one of my group did, and this is 100% profit in just three months. So I'll show you a ton more examples as we go along. Why does this work? Well, it works for a couple of reasons. For, for a start, it works because the OVI is based in nothing other than logic. It is based on the logic of demand and supply. And the demand and supply we're looking at is at a, at a niche of the market that is educated, that has a higher um, you know, knowledge base, if you like. And that's why it works. If you're looking at something that has a special moving average here or a special number there, that's not based in logic. The OBI is based in logic. And it doesn't get more logical than demand and supply. And specifically, what the OVI is doing is it's observing 
potential professional options traders, the ones who've got the volume, the ones who are doing the main trades, and therefore enables you to follow their direction. Remember, these guys ha are a higher echelon of trader. These are the guys I want to follow. Who would agree with that? Who would agree that you, if you're going to follow anyone, follow someone who knows what they're doing? And these guys who are trading all the volume and options obviously know what they're doing. And empirically, this is absolutely spot on because we know this by just doing the numbers. And it's important, as I alluded to just a minute ago, to, to re-emphasize that these methods are not based on black box or magical numbers or anomalies. If you say, if you've got someone saying, oh, I've got a, the MACD formula that's going to do X and Y, it can't be the case. No institution would ever accept that as a trading methodology, but they do readily accept this as a trading methodology because it's based in logic and it can be proven, it's statistically proven by independent hedge fund analysts and also preceding that, academic studies. So you're going with something that has real proof behind it. Here's Yahoo, a 62% move in seven months, a couple of years ago, but again, look at this thing of beauty, a consistently positive OVI and lots of little areas where we can get in safely and make trades. But just look at this again, look at the correlation. It is indisputable. And it happens over and over again. Here was Apple a bit earlier this year. Here's a great pattern I love to see. It's a gap up after earnings. And guess what happens? It goes sideways and the OVI turns positive and stays positive. Who sees that? Just give me just give me a wave if you see the, the thing of beauty that you're seeing here. This just happened, you know, about six months ago here. It goes up, it stays up while the stock goes sideways, giving us an opportunity to get in. We all saw this. This is just so easy to see when you know what you're looking at. The OBI is persistently positive immediately after earnings, and then the stock continues to rise after a sideways move. Here's Micron, roughly at the same time, persistently positive OBI and giving us opportunities to get in. It happens over and over and over again. This is 33% from May to July. Very simple stuff. And it can work the other way as well, as you saw with Bear Stearns. Here's US Steel. And here we've now got a persistently negative OVI and we've got opportunities, albeit more volatile, opportunities to get in on the short side safely. And this was a 62% move in just four months with US Steel. Persistent bearish negative OVI showing persistent bearish market direction. So the correlation there is irrefutable. That's step one. Step two is we combine this, and you've seen this already in the charts I've shown you, we combine this with a classic breakout pattern. So that means that the OVI can become a leading indicator in this way. Now, what chart pattern do I focus on? Well, I focus on very simple breaks of support and resistance, if possible, with flag patterns. Now, this is a tried and tested technical setup that actually does have the respect of institutions. It's been exhibited many times by William O'Neill. It was uh, one, one, William um, Darvis actually was the one who made it famous to, the, to retail traders, to average traders, but it's been adopted. This is something that has legitimacy in professional trading circles. And just let's go through the basics of support and resistance. In its simplest format, the resistance is formed by a ceiling that in itself is formed by, again, in its simplest format, a previous high. And you can draw an invisible horizontal line across, and that will create resistance. Now, let's say that we have a persistent positive OVI, so we know the options traders are bullish about this stock, and we see this stock creeping up towards this resistance line. As it goes through it, we can confidently buy, because we know we've got the, the options traders behind this, and so we can buy through that resistance. The stock goes through it. Similarly, what is support? Well, support is a floor which is created by, in its simplest format, a previous low. We draw a horizontal line across, and as the stock creeps or drifts towards that support line, and with a persistently negative OVI, we've got a low risk, high reward opportunity to go short. Just wave at me if you just see, the, again, the simplicity of this and the way that it works. We're being backed up here by the fact that professional options traders are already lining up with this. And remember, this happened with Bear Stearns. So we had not only the OVI that was crunching to the floor here, 
but we have one level of support here that it breaks through at 76 and a new level of support here at $69 that we're now approaching. Now this is the time where Jim Cramer is saying, you know, don't sell bear, it's not in trouble. Well clearly, we can see that it could well be in trouble. The options traders have already turned, volume in the stock has not at this point and we're already threatening this support line right here. So obviously, you know, uh, I kind of am a bit mean to him on this, but he didn't have what we were beginning to see here. And obviously, this was more of a bearish setup than anything else, and it turned out to be spectacular. Here's Micron, again, just earlier this year. We make a new high. We retrace very sharply off it for a couple of bars, but guess what's happening? Look at this. For the month before that, I've got a persistently positive OBI. And so now I've got a setup. I've got a setup here with this line of resistance and I've got another setup right afterwards because I've got a bull flag. It's a 10% move in just a few days. I'm going to show you about bull flags in just one second. Um, here's Phillips uh, just about a year ago, but again, this is beautiful. I want to show you the dynamics here of support and resistance alongside my OBI indicator. Here we have uh, where my mouse is S1, that's support level one. So we've got support here at $55 and we've got a minor resistance here at just under $60 and we've got a bigger resistance here at, uh, well, about 60, $62.5 roughly about here. And so the stock makes what I call a basing pattern. I love this pattern. We've come down and we're now just piddling around uh, between a very definable range between 55 and 60. This is great. The stock breaks through that, okay, and this new resistance line is broken quickly here. Let's just go back. R2 is a resistance line formed by the high in the end of July, and we break through that pretty quickly. And this resistance now becomes a level of support. And the stock travels sideways. As it travels sideways, look what's going on here. The OVI has a chance to be persistently positive. This is now creating a great opportunity. We've got a well-defined support. We've got a well-defined resistance. All we need to do is be patient for the breakout and get in. Just give me a wave if you see, again, the beauty of this setup. You already know which way the direction of the options traders are going. You have a well-defined support and resistance pattern to enter your trades in. This is just a no-brainer. It's very easy. All these things I'm showing you are things that we did and also our, our traders, our members did as well. So with flags, what you're doing is you're trading with the trend. You're swimming with the tide. And a flag pattern is simply a chart pattern that resembles the cloth on a flagpole going in one direction or the other. So if the flagpole, if the main direction, the dominant trend is up and then we get the sideways move, that's a bull flag. And if the main direction or the dominant trend is down, then we have a bear flag. And again, this gives us a low risk and high reward setup. And what flags help us do is improve our timing and also reduce risks because we've now got clear areas to enter and clear areas for stop placement and managing the trades. This is why I use them. That's the main reason to use them. So let's have a look at an idealized flag. Here we have a persistently positive OBI. As the stock price rises at A, that's because people are bidding up. So if the stock price is 50 and someone bids 51 and a seller accepts that bid, then guess what? We're going to push that price up regardless of volume. Then as we get to the S point, this is where buyers and sellers kind of meet in the middle and the stock starts to go sideways or even slightly against the trend. But guess what? We have a clear area of resistance here. Then the stock starts to rise again through here with, with aggressive buying again, and guess what? As it travels through resistance, we've got a chance of making money. The same thing happens exactly in reverse for a bear flag, aggressive selling, followed by meeting in the middle, we've got a persistently negative OVI here. So as the stock starts being aggressively sold again, as it travels through the support, the low part of the flag, we've got a chance of making safe profits, low risk, high reward here. So let's have a look at a few examples. Here's Goldman Sachs. We saw this earlier again, persistent OVI, bull flag here, and another one up here. We called both of these. We did both of these as the end of December. There's, again, spectacular setups here. All the banking industry was doing that. It works best from these breakouts from consolidations, and we know what happens next. Up it goes, and not 
just up it goes, but it actually goes up in flags. Who's noticed? Just give me a wave if you've noticed that uh, when you have a trending stock, it often trends in, little, in these little flags, which is beautiful because we can get in and get in again and get in again and manage our trades. We can even take profits and get in again. Again, look at the thing of beauty that you're seeing. All you have to do is be patient enough to do that. So trends often manifest as a series of flags and here we've got this OVI. The OVI can actually statistically and empirically be used purely on its own but when we're trading in this way in this guided discretionary way following a method we like to do it in this way with, you know, with the flag patterns as well and they will help focus you with their support and resistance. Here's Google now, I love this. Google has earnings, okay this is about a year ago, October 2013, has earnings and now the OVI turns positive, okay, gaps up, big gap up, and then we have a sideways move. And with that sideways move, we then, within a month or so, have full flags setting up. And guess what? The OVI has now been persistently positive for several weeks, actually a month or so, about six weeks by this point, in which case we have low risk, high reward potential entry points in here. And again, this went up by $75 or 7,500 points if you're in the UK for a gain in three months. But again, beautiful stuff. It happens over and over again. And the flags are providing us safe levels for support for entry and exits. Now, here's Facebook. Now, this is very similar to Google. Again, same earnings last year. And we gapped up again in late July. But this, the beautiful thing here was that the OBI was already positive at that point. So it was already positive. It stayed persistently positive after that gap up. Now we've got a sideways move. We come down at first so we don't break out and now we have a clear area of resistance to go long with. And this is what happens. It's very easy to do it this way. Just give me a wave if you can see the beauty of this setup and how we're using the OBI as a leading indicator in this way. We're waiting for the breakout and that persistent OBI situation. And all subsequent breakouts can also be used this way when you've got that persistent OBI. And look at the correlation again. The correlation is as beautiful between the OBI and the stock price, and yet the OVI is all on its own. It's not got anything really to do with the chart. You're just seeing that how options traders over and over and over again are on the money, and so we may as well follow them. Here's, here's Facebook earlier this year. Did it again. Gap up after earnings, sideways move, and look, I've got a persistent OVI all this time. Again, I don't have to cherry pick these. These are happening over and over again, so that's step two. Now, step three is just creating the simple safe trading plan. I need a breakout. That's the thing. We need a breakout from a support or resistance or from a flag pattern. Okay? The breakout has got to happen for our trade to be executed. So you put in a, a stop limit order or a conditional, an order that's conditional on a price being traded through. So let me show you an example here. Just who? give me a wave here if you think that this looks like the perfect setup here. Here's Ford. Uh, just over a year and a bit ago, a year and a half ago, it's perfect. I've got a bullish trend, I've got a persistent positive OVI, and I've got a bull flag. It doesn't get much better than that. But I need the breakout. My order will be placed above this area. If I don't get the breakout, I'm not in the trade. I didn't get the breakout. Look at it. I didn't get the breakout, so I couldn't lose money. So the safe trading plan prevents me from losing if there's no breakout. Now, obviously, no trading plan is going to keep you completely you know, uh, loss-free all the time. But imagine that this would have turned into a losing trade, but it doesn't because I wasn't in it, because my order never got hit. So again, with our trading plan, we're able to use the statistics in our favor to make sure that those kind of trades, and you know, by the way, it's only about two-thirds that ever break out in the first place. So imagine the ones that aren't breaking out um, when they don't, well actually it's about 40%, sorry, 40% break out, but imagine the other ones that don't, that would have potentially been losers, we don't have to have anything to do with those. We're not getting involved in those. So that's, again, a phenomenal thing. So we have our three simple steps. The OBI gives us the main direction. We're looking for a persistency with the OBI. We use the breakout patterns for timing, and we use a, a clean and easy and clear trading plan to keep us safe. It's very elegant, and it is proven as well. Statistically, empirically, independently, this is proven. So I want you to write this down. This is important. Your trading mantra, no matter what you decide to do, is this. Stop having an opinion. Just trade what 
you see. Because by doing this, you will be able to cultivate your intuition for the markets. Do you remember all those market calls I made? I showed you at the beginning of this presentation. I'm able to make them because all I do is trade what I see. I look at a very limited number of patterns and I look at the OBI and that's it. And that's how I keep on being able to call the market correctly over and over and over again. It means you have an in, your, your intuition will, will be cultivated over a period of time. Commit to this. How many of you, just by example, have an opinion on the fact that, oh, the market's gone up too much? Who's ever heard themselves say that stuff to themselves? Give me a hand. Give me a wave if you've said that stuff to yourself. Oh, well, this market's got too much. Oh, it must do this. It must do that. Or you're following what they're saying on TV. Forget all that. Just trade what you see. Now, the way that you see things will impact how good your intuition and your reading of the market will be. But you go back in time, you can look up anywhere and see the calls I've made over and over again. We call the market really well. And it's and all I'm doing is what I've shown you today. That's all we're doing. Just basic setups and the OVI with it. So we're looking for specifically persistent OVI in line with the trend and a stock that is, or stocks that are poised for some form of trend breakout. So poised for breakout from support or resistance or from an established uh, flag type of pattern. Now here is the optimum combination that you need to be looking at. And just, all you have to do is focus on the obvious. If the obvious doesn't happen, you don't have to do anything. So we're looking for a bull flag or approach of resistance with a persistently positive OBI or of course, the opposite, which is a bear flag or an approach of support with a persistently negative OBI. That's it. That's for trading with the trend. And here's Yahoo. I'll give you another example here. So here's Yahoo. Gaps up at earnings, goes sideways, got a persistently positive OBI. Again, it's literally like taking you know, candy from babies. It's really easy. It's a 50% move in seven months, and you've got other opportunities to get in. Again, look at the correlation with the OVI. It happens over and over again. This was a couple of years ago. This was beautiful because this, again, was happening all throughout the financial industry, whether it was Bank of America, Citigroup, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, were all doing the same thing. Now, if you've got a group of stocks and the indices doing something similar, you have to get on board, okay? You have to do it. So they were all doing the same thing. What we had here, particularly with Bank of America, was a thing of beauty because we had a persistently positive OVI correlating beautifully with a trend, and the trend had kind of run out of steam and was going sideways. It presented us with a clear area of resistance at $10. It presented us with a little mini flag under that. It breaks through, we're in, but then forms another flag. This is even better and still a persistently positive OBI and another clean breakout and we've got 16.5% in just 24 days before that trend is broken by this big red bar. Just give me a wave again if you just see the beauty of this, okay, just how simple it is to do it. All you need is a bit of patience just to wait for the setups to happen. You don't need, you can get these big returns from these setups but you just have to wait because the market isn't always going to trend for you. So you just have to make sure you know what you should be looking at and when you should be looking at it. It is simple. Here's Morgan Stanley doing almost the identical thing, literally at the same time, persistently positive OVI. And now you've got a cup and handle set up. A cup and handle is just literally a, a cup with a flag on the end of it, the bull flag on the end. And again, that's another big move, 20% move in very short space of time. Again, look at the beauty of this thing. Look how clean my charts are. I don't have lines everywhere. Who likes to see a chart that's like this rather than literally 20 squiggles all over it? Who prefers this? Who sees this? Because what you're doing, when you, when you clutter up your charts with lots of lines and signals and this and that, you are what is called over-optimizing. You are curve-fitting, and this is what institutions will not do. But this is what amateur traders do do, and they get it wrong. Here's Micron. Micron, we know, is a great stock. This is earlier this year. But look at this, the correlation between the trend and the persistently positive OVI. And here we've got the other way with Apple when it had a few problems a couple of years ago. 
Apple's OVI turns mainly negative and choppy up and down, but mainly in negative, and it correlates beautifully with the direction of Apple at that time. Uh, here's Philips. Again, you've got this beautiful setup, persistently positive OVI. It's bouncing up and down, but only in positive territory. Forms a bull flag. I've got a positive OVI. I've got an uptrend. I've got a bull flag. That's all I need on the breakout, and then you get another 50% move in just five months and other opportunities to enter as well. And so this is just what we do. This is one of the best trades we made. It wasn't one of the biggest, but it was one of the best. Because look at this. And give me a wave if you see, again, the beauty of this. We've got clear resistance here at $45. Who sees that? One hit, two hits, not just three hits, but a bull flag right under it. And as this sideways move is forming, I've now got a persistent positive OVI. This is what you call a no-brainer. So this is one of those trades that you just feel very relaxed about because it's almost like you know what's going to happen. And this is obviously what did happen. It was just what you call a perfect trade. Persistently positive OVI, break of resistance at the same time as a bull flag breaking out as well. So again, really beautiful stuff. And that's your three steps, the OVI giving you the main direction when it's persistent, the flag patterns or breaks of support and resistance with timing, and then trade management, basic, simple trade management with trend lines and using the support and resistance that's given to you in the markets. It's a proven system. And again, remember the optimum combination here again. So the challenge that I set you earlier was that we all want to make money safely with low time requirement, with an opportunity for windfall profits, if, they are, if we're lucky enough for them to present themselves to us, and in not much more than 10 minutes a day. Well, this is the opportunity today. Now, I have you know, several, uh, well, actually many people in my, in my membership site, and people do this. People, whether they're professionals or whether they're amateurs. Here's one guy. I've got a, a bit of uh, something going on here. I don't know whether you can hear me. Every time somebody joins it, it automatically turns on their microphone, which is, I think, probably the wrong way to do it. But I've got it muted for you. <laughs> okay. My um, apologies. I can, okay, no problem, no problem. So here's um, someone who accepted this challenge and nine, ten trades, nine winners. This is as a rank beginner, this fella. And again, he had the patience to spot the opportunities easily, and when he sees several of them at once, this is an interesting point. When you see a clump of them, a clustering of them, this is a good sign. Here's another guy in Manchester here from the UK, took his account from 2,500 to 19,000 pounds in 18 months. Um, here's another guy who actually became a professional trader, doubling his money in six weeks, and again, talks about support. Here's one of our stars, this is Abraham in Virginia. He made over 186% in one month. He transformed his account from $10,000 to $140,000 in two years. This is a great trader just using our stuff. And here's Graham here who's a system tester and he's made great money in just nine weeks of evaluating the system. So here is the challenge for the few people today who are in here, uh, actually it's quite a lot of people today, who want to take up the challenge. There are spaces left for this little cycle that we have and the challenge is for you guys to join my OVI Traders Club for free right now today and I'll show you what's involved. Okay, my OVI Traders Club enables you to save, to stay focused, save time, and keep your trading down to just minutes a day. You can focus on whether it's my select group of stocks or your own select group of stocks with two proven strategies. And I'll show you what's involved in the OVI Traders Club. First of all, private access to my OVI charts. Then you also get regular webinars with me, and I'll tell you about those. In my webinars, we cover current market conditions, we cover new trading opportunities, and we also cover new enhancements. We're always improving things. Um, by the way, there's a link here where it says bit.ly forward slash OTC, that's OVI Traders Club, and then Metastock. I'll, I'll be putting that in your chat box in, in a little while. But this is what we do in my webinars. They're always very well attended and popular. Now, I talked earlier on about how do you know when to focus on trend and when to focus on something else. 
Well, we have what's called my OVI sentiment indicator, which is an aggregate of all the OVIs of the S&P 500, and we create that, we mix that into a cake, make it into an index, and that is able to identify market direction long term. We can then use that to focus on the right strategy, and it takes seconds, because you pop onto the page and you see which color it is, red or green. Now, the OVI sentiment, long signal, if you just traded the S&P going long when it's green, you would have outperformed over the last 10 years, you would have outperformed the S&P by over two and a half times with less than one quarter of the risk. Is that a fifth of the risk? About a fifth of the drawdown and a fifth of the volatility, a fifth of the risk. Now, if you've got some leverage uh, in the UK, that would have been over 2,000% in 10 years. But this, again, is just seconds. This thing alone is gold dust, the OBI sentiment indicator, a phenomenal tool. Um, what if the market isn't trending? Well, we have reversal patterns that we can use. We can use reversal pattern. We are very good. If you saw my calls that I'd made earlier on in this presentation, some, a, a lot of those were reversals, actually. And we are very good at doing reversals. But we've also approximated the William O'Neill filters as well, so for quality stocks. So if you want to do something different, you can do that in the OBI Traders Club. We know when the best time to do reversal trades is, is when the OBI sentiment is red. But when it's green, we want to be focusing, focusing more on bullish things, and like O'Neill stuff as well. So we have that in our OBI Traders Club, and you can combine that with the OBI. We also, in this club, have a dashboard that summarizes the market in our language in literally just a second. We show you how many flags there are, bullish or bearish, how many combinations of OVI and flags there are, and other ones. So a quick snapshot look on your mobile device, wherever you want to look, where you can see what's happening in the market from day to day. It takes you, again, seconds so you can get a feel for the market instantly. We have unlimited support prices. We take it very seriously. Now, in our team right now, we have me. I'm the trader. I'm the one who creates the trading strategies. Sid and Harold create the websites, and they actually implement those strategies for me. And then we have Casey and Charlie in support. Casey will be here giving you a wave already tonight. And uh, we've been together for over six years, and we are growing and getting better, and we have some phenomenal tools. You're already beginning to see how cool our tools are, and the key thing about what we do is they're based in reality, okay? That's the main thing, but also they're really nice and easy to use, so unlimited support. Now, another thing that's happened here is our community forum. Now, this is a phenomenal thing. Years ago, I was asked by my members, would I create a forum? And very reluctantly, I did because you know forums tend to be like places where people pump and dump and become abusive and become selfish and whatever. Not mine. This community is a group of successful OVI traders who help each other and are generous with their time. And they also form an important community voice that I listen to. So many of the improvements we have are discussed with you guys first, and so that's why we're able to put in such great tools as well, because I listen to you, and it's a hugely valuable resource for you to be involved with these great people who really are helpful, they're friendly, and they're constructive as well. And on top of all that, the value to this whole thing is so huge, um, and it's unique anyway, because no one anywhere has got anything like the OVI, but on top of that, you're getting constant streams of blogs and education and more from me, including video tutorials where I can show you how to do this, again, in detail, but in just minutes per day, step-by-step -step learning. And we are always, we are always committed to innovation. We are, our tools have got better and better. They're, they're better in terms of their empirical performance, proven independently, but they're also better from a user perspective. And as I mentioned earlier, and as Jeff mentioned earlier, we will soon be having the OVI as part of the OVI Traders Club membership. We will also be giving members the ability to use this on Metastock as well, to implement the OVI within Metastock if you are a member. Now, the way to join, the way to get involved is, um, and I don't know whether it's in your chat box here, but the way to do it would be to click on the link that I'm about to put over to you. I think that's already been um, already put there as well. So I'm just going to say to everybody, um, I don't know whether I can, but oh, here, here to everybody here, I'm going to send you a link as we speak. It's um, 
HTTP. We don't need to worry about that. It's bit.ly forward slash OTC Metastock. So all you have to do is just type in the, the bit.ly bit, bit.ly forward slash OTC Metastock for that. By the way, this also works on tablets. And just to show you, we have a range of customers from professionals to amateurs, from multimillionaires to students. And here's one, here's Kedzie in California. She is a high flyer. She makes, on average, over $20,000 of profit per month since she joined us in July 2013. And I can tell you, this lady was a basket case before she got involved with us. She was, she was subscribed to 15 different newsletters. She was trading several times a day and going nowhere. And she's cut all that down to just one newsletter now, and she just always trades either the reversals with us or mainly with the OVI. And that's what she does, and we've totally transformed her. Here was a father and son combination in the UK, and they did use what's called spread betting, and they literally took a small amount of money and they've managed to make a thousand percent profit in just literally um, 14 weeks. And then in the following, I think, three to six months, they doubled it again. And the way they did it was kind of clever because they used the OVI, they used the reversals, but they would only trade when each other gave the other permission. So they had to get sort of corroboration with each other to do it. And that was a nice way of them. That was their little secret. So, um, is all this right now for free for you? Yes, it is, in this session only. So, it's HTTP forward slash, um, and then it's, forget all that, but just do the bit.ly forward slash OTC Metastock. Okay, for this session only, for the first month, you will get all this for free. There is no obligation to continue. If you choose not to, no, no hard feelings. But I'll tell you this, most people love it and they can't do without it as well. This is what you get, just a quick summary. You get the OTC, the OVI charts and the dashboard, the reversal and the William O'Neill filters, the OVI sentiment indicator, all that. It's worth thousands of dollars and you can't get it anywhere else. You get all the tutorials and all the education ongoing. You also get the live tutorials, almost like a mentorship from me personally. You get to connect with others in the forum, unlimited support, and again, here it is, huge value, over six and a half thousand dollars, bit.ly forward slash OTC Metastock, um, and it is literally for you um, free for the first month. No obligation to continue. And uh, if you want to also uh, do that as well, you can subscribe to our free list as well. If you are involved with us, just make sure that we are on your safe senders list. So you just put these, anything from flag-trader.com, just put us in there as a, you know, as a safe to be receiving emails for. Um, and just sign up with this link here, bit.ly forward slash OTC Metastock and you will be in at no risk to you at all. So this is it. Here is the challenge. It's free for the first month, completely. Um, and I think we've uh, managed to, uh, well, we stayed within the hour, Jeff. All really right. Thank you, um, Guy. We really appreciate that. And um, uh, thanks for all the positive comments. Let's uh, let's kind of get moving a little bit. Thanks, Casey. We really do appreciate you coming in. I'm looking forward. And yes, thanks to Casey as well. By the way, just to remind you guys that in 2015, by being a member here, you will also get this on Metastock. It's the right screen showing. Okay. All right. That's great. Thanks, Guy. Um, and Casey. <laughs> Good to have everybody here. Uh